Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of What Crappy Games Did Nintendo Give Us with the NES Online Service. Now this month is a little different for me because I have never played either of the NES games that they made available two days ago. So, um, this was my first experience with those games. And I have to tell you, with Nintendo's track record lately, I was expecting it to be a complete flop, but one of these games was a really nice surprise, um, and I want to tell you about it, but first I'm going to tell you about the one that I think was just really awful. And that game is Kung Fu Heroes. Now, I didn't go into this really thinking it would be awful, I, I kind of... I had an idea that they weren't going to be very good because I had never heard of it and I've been playing NES games a very long time. So I figured, okay, if I've never heard of these games, they're, they probably weren't very notable. And in the case of Kung Fu Heroes, I was, you know, right on the money. I could see why some people might like this game, like if they played it as a kid. Um, if for some reason their parents bought this instead of Mario Brothers or Zelda. Uh, but as far as you know, actually being a, a good game, it, it just isn't. Kung Fu Heroes came out in North America in 1989. You control either Jackie or Lee. You can play in two-player co-op, which in my opinion is probably the most appealing thing about this game. But basically, as far as gameplay goes, it's just you running around, punching these other guys. And it, it to me, felt very repetitive. So, I don't know, let me know in the comments if, if you played this game as a kid, or if you still love this game. Um, I just wasn't really a fan, so, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. It just wasn't very good. Now, after playing Kung Fu Heroes, I was like, oh great. We got, you know, two total flops. These games kind of suck. The other game I had also never heard of. This game is Vice Project Doom. Now, I was absolutely shocked by this, but this game is awesome. And if you have never played it, you need to check it out. I was very surprised that I'd never heard of it. I truly thought that over the last 29 years of my life, I had played every great NES game that there was to play. I spent a lot of time playing NES as a kid and then as an adult, still, I, I absolutely love it. It's one of the greatest consoles and, you know, I, I really was surprised to see that there was a game that I didn't know about. In this game, you start in a car and you're going up the screen and you're trying to shoot these cars and inevitably get up to the point where you're shooting this one bad guy that you're after, you're trying to stop him, and I was just really surprised by how much fun it actually was, and my initial response was, okay, this game's like a shoot 'em up game, you just move left and right, up and down, and shoot, but I was very wrong, because the very next level, and from what I can tell the rest of the game, is actually a side-scroller and you can run around, you have a club looking thing. It's kind of hard to tell with the graphics, you know, being that old. I think it's a club, it could possibly be like a sword or a whip of some sort. Um, you also get a few other items that you can use like a gun or this weird thing that kind of curves when you throw it. It, it starts low and then kind of curves up almost like Almost like you'd imagine like a boomerang um, would travel through the air. And it's pretty hard. The parts of the level, the ground will break off underneath you. You've got to time your jumps pretty good because the enemies will come out of nowhere as you're jumping across gaps. And I just was really hooked on it when I started playing it. And I was very pleasantly surprised that there was this hidden gem all this time. Now, after doing some research, this is actually the first official release of this game since the NES. So it's been about 30 years since this game was officially released by Nintendo. 
Uh, I thought that was really cool, and probably another reason that I had never heard of it, because it never made it to a virtual console on the Wii or the Wii U or anything before that. So it never got a remake, it never got any of that treatment like a lot of the great games do, and for some reason nobody ever thought to re-release it. But this game is awesome, and it's definitely worth your time, and I would put it up there with some of the great games on the NES. Uh, like Ninja Gaiden or similar side-scroller fighting games. So let me know if you're going to give this game a shot. Um, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think. If you like Kung Fu Heroes, uh, go ahead and let me know that too. I'm, I'm just not a fan. Like I said, that's just my opinion. So, um, But I am interested to know if other people played this game as, as kids or, or even if they still love it as adults and they go back and play it. And let me know if you'll be playing Vice Project Doom, because I definitely am going to keep playing it. It's an awesome game. As always, guys, if you enjoy my videos, hit the like button. Be sure to comment and say hi. And subscribe to the channel, and uh, you don't want to miss any of the live streams, any of the playthroughs, any of the game reviews. Go ahead and join my Discord. It's a lot of fun talking with you guys about games and it's a lot easier for me to do in discord than anywhere else so that's a great place to talk to me there follow me on instagram follow me on twitter i've been posting on twitter more recently so yeah we'll see you in the next video guys